can he grill a mango? He does the grill a mango tango. Grill ops coming. Yeah, Bill Dog. Grill yeah, well, don't worry, I'm getting ready to go over to Point Loma. Oh, we gotta do a show today. You don't wanna be in a show anymore. You wanna run the camera? Well, Bill Dog, you know. Uh, one shot video production is really just me running the camera. There really isn't a production company. You. You been drinking? You want to run the camera. Do you have experience? You've taken some Polaroids. You, uh, you've seen movies. Uh, well, you know, Bill Dog, you, you just turn the camera on and just turn it off. You don't zoom, you don't tilt it, don't do anything. You've you been drinking, have you? And you think you can do that? Because you know we have millions of fans. We don't want to disappoint them. Okay, Bill Dog. Well, we'll see you over Point Loma, okay? I can't watch it. You have to do this on your own now. All right. Okay. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Grill Dog Presents. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we're about food, fun, and friends. And if you're doing anything else, you're doing it wrong. Today, we're out in the road. We're down here in the center of Point Loma, down in San Diego. Hey, I'm there. So, what we did is we packed up our bags. We got our writer, Jude Lieberman from Lee Brooks, who donates all their time to actually write this mess. And we got our production crew for One Shot Video, who like the show. Sometimes you like One Shot, so you get. So we're running down here on the road. And what Trish wants us to cook up today, we're going to show you what to do with sushi. All right, well, the first thing you're gonna do if you're gonna make any kind of sushi at all, <laughs> is you gotta work on the rice. And that's most people's problem when they're dealing with sushi, is that they don't know how to make the rice. So we're gonna go inside, we got three different types of rice we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a regular American rice, which we really don't wanna use for sushi, and I'll show you why. We have a nice sticky rice that I brought back from Japan, but you can get good sushi rice in any Japanese store. You just go in there and ask what you want, and they'll tell you what, what you can get. <laughs> And then, of course, we have a nice sweet rice that we're going to use for a really interesting dessert later on. So let's go on inside and cook up some rice. Well, now we're inside the house, and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect rice. Now, I know there's all kinds of directions and everything on make, every rice package that you make. But I'm going to show you a really simple way to make rice that turns out perfect every time. Now, first, we're going to go with a rice that I actually brought back from one of my visit in Japan. Now I know I normally don't have ingredients that you have to go out of the country to get. You can go to any Asian market and get a good sticky rice. Just ask for a sticky rice and they'll point you into the right direction. You don't have to go to Japan. Of course, you know I'm a world traveler. I've been all over the place. That's how come I can bring you some of the great recipes from all around the world. <laughs> now if you're using American rice, you're going to have to wash it a little bit because there's a lot of preservatives and a bunch of nasty stuff in there. So I always go for the Japanese rice. So we just have to soak that. So what we're going to do here, I have a cup of American rice, which we're going to soak. Mainly, I'm just going to show you this so you can see the difference, or actually how similarity, the um, two processes of, of the different types of rice comes together doing the exact same method of boiling. And then I'm going to use two cups of the sticky rice in our bowl here. And actually, I'm going to hand it over to my good buddy Hot Dog, who's going to fill this halfway full of water for me. Thank you. All right, Chief. Right there's the water stick it. You pull in with the water stick it? Okay, he's got that handled quite nicely. And then we have two cups of our sticky rice. Now later on in the show, we're going to do the exact same method for our sweet rice for our dessert roll. And we're going to just let this here, both of these sit, our American rice and our sweet, our sticky rice, to soak for one half hour before we start to cook it. And now let's go outside and start looking to see what we have to make our main theme for the show. You might want to think about a little appetizer to feed them so they don't get too crazy while they're waiting for you to make your sushi. What I'm going to do here for an appetizer for my friends is I'm going to actually do something really nice. It's called edanami. It's basically young soybeans. You can get them in any supermarket. Um, and what they are, we'll show you really quick, is they're basically like a pea pod. As you can see, they're little pea pods. And what you do, you can either steam them, you can microwave them, or you can eat them raw cold. Add a little salt to them, you just open them up, and you get this little pea, and just pop that in your mouth, and you've got yourself a nice little appetizer. So we're going to go inside and serve these to my little grilled old packs. We'll be back in a minute. 
We got our American rice here, which I said has a lot of preservatives in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to swirl it around, try to loosen up the dirt, strain it out, throw some more water in it, rinse it again, and that should be about ready. With our um, Asian rice, the sticky rice, we're actually going to use for the sushi. We're just going to strain it and add the water we're cooking. Two cups of sticky rice, two cups of water, one cup of American rice, one cup of water. Now we're going to go over here and boil these things. <laughs> Alright, we're over here going to cook our rice. For our American rice, I have a small pan. And for our, one, our two cups of sticky rice, I have a bigger pan. And now the most important thing to do when you're cooking rice isn't necessarily the pan, of course you want to have enough room for your rice, is you want to have a tight fitting lid. You want it to sit on there tight because that's one of the main processes of making your rice. You want the steam and the heat to stay in. And once you start cooking this, do not open the lid, okay? Just like with the, the coal episode that I showed you about, not removing the lid of the grill, you'll want to leave the lid on there. And make sure you have a tight lid. One cup of American rice with one cup of water. And we're going to put that in our pan, get all the good rice in there. And then we're going to just sit that over here on the side. We're going to heat that up in a minute. And then for our sticky rice, we have our two cups of sticky rice and two cups of water. We're going to pour it in our bigger pan. And we're going to be all set to go. We're going to put the lid on both. And again, what we're doing is we're showing you two different types of rice with the exact same cooking style. To show you that it's not necessarily how you cook the rice or what you cook it in. But no matter what type of rice you have, you can do the same process for any type of rice. Well, except for brown rice and your really tough grains like that. They take a lot longer. But your regular white rice, this is the best method to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on high. Hopefully. There we go. And we're going to leave it on high until we first start to hear them start to boil. Once we start to hear that they start to boil, we're going to turn it down really low to simmer for 10 minutes. Alright, my pans over here started to boil. I heard them, so we turned it down to low. Now what we're going to do is we're going to time this for 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, we're going to go back, take them off the stove, but we're going to leave the lid on and let them sit for another 10 minutes. So Mickey's so hands do. are going to be where in 10 minutes? Do what? Mickey's hands are going to be where in 10 minutes? Oh, uh, Mickey's hands right now is on 2 o'clock. And then when Mickey gets over here to 10 after 2, we're going to take them off. 